So today I'm going to talk about some summer skincare and judging by the massive peeling forehead I have, it would be fair to say that I'm not an equipped person to discuss this. <laughs> However, this was from, I just got back from LA and I did a, me and Lynn's did a day in a um, 1965 Ford Mustang, we like, drove on the Pacific Coast Highway and to just, as this is a really specific tip, if you ever have a day like that, which I hope you will get to do because it was one of the best days I've ever, ever had. Put more sun cream than you think imaginable on your nose and forehead. We were so, so sunburned, so that's why my forehead's peeling. Aside from this mishap, I'm generally pretty good at looking after my skin in the summer. And while we're in the midst of a heat wave, which apparently isn't going anywhere anytime soon, try not to be negative about it and be typically British and completely complain about the weather no matter what it's doing but my god it's been so hot I think it's going to be about 31 degrees today or something um, but yeah I thought I would do a video about summer skincare both face and body because obviously you tend to show a bit more skin in the summer not just about your face because we're going to talk about hair removal all kinds of things I've not got tons of products here to talk through and then ones that you've heard me mention before because I have really, really sensitive skin so when I find something that I like, I tend to really stick with it and use it for a long time because changing products for me cannot agree with me that well. Um, and most of these products are super affordable too, there's nothing mega expensive, I'm not really into huge expensive skincare because my favourite are always the French brands which don't tend to be ridiculously pricey as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. I thought I would start with, let's start with body because this is the kind of thing that I probably haven't spoken about as much. Um, now, when it comes to hair removal, I feel like, I, as I just said, I have really sensitive skin and my skin can often not get on with hair removal. And you get like razor burn, ingrown hairs, all that kind of a thing. I've tried every type of hair removal. Um, shaving, waxing, I've even had laser hair removal on my bikini line, which I would really, really recommend. And the only reason I had to stop it is because you can't um, expose the skin to sun. And because I've been away so much this summer, it just became impossible to keep going. So that would be the only thing. I feel like you lose your rhythm with going every six weeks with that really easily because you have to be really careful with sun exposure. Um, so I've just been shaving recently and it can be super, super, super harsh on the skin. And it's something that I really struggle with because I have really sensitive skin. And I also find that I know that I like to scroll through Instagram and see so many photos of like, people on holiday and I'm like, God, their skin over their whole body is so flawless. And mine is not like that. And I actually don't think anyone's is like, everyone gets spots here and there, whatever. Um, but for shaving, I use any razor, I haven't brought a razor out, but I use any, you know, you get the what the Venus ones normally with the changeable heads and they have four or five blades. Any of those I think are fine. And then always use some sensitive of the Gillette Satin Care, one of them. There's this one and there's one that's a slightly dark green bottle. Um, this is the only one that I think is really, really good for sensitive skin. The others are so, so fragrant, it's frightening. So I always, always, always use this. And then exfoliate with exfoliating gloves, which I probably do once every three to four days. I don't do it every day because it's just too much on the skin. I probably try and shave every other day like everywhere, under arms, bikini line, like every, every other day or every three days, depending on what I'm doing and everything like that. Then without fail, every single day I have to moisturise when I get out of the shower. And this is my favourite moisturiser ever. It's the Bioderma Atoderm Creme. Um, it's ultra nourishing cream for normal to dry sensitive skin. And it's completely fragrance free. Like this smells of nothing. It soaks into your skin so quickly. It's so, so moisturising. And obviously if you've got sensitive skin, fragrance free is good for that. But also, I like wear perfume that I love, which is a stupid statement because of course everyone wears perfume that, I lo that they love. But why, I don't see why you'd want to have a body cream that has normally quite a cheap fragrance in it interfering with your perfume. So I always go for fragrance free. And this is the best one. I think this is about 20, 25 pounds. You get it from Big Boots or lots of pharmacies around London do it as well. Um, and it, it's just the best. It uses 
literally from top to toe, all over my body, and it's so, so good. And then more recently, which is what really inspired me to do this video, is that I was looking online at anything to help if you are getting grown hairs, especially along your bikini line, and if you just tend to get like redness and sore skin, and came across this brand called Fur, which I ordered these online, but then found on free people as well. Um, so I ordered these online and didn't get any customs charges, by the way, because they do charge in dollars, so I was worried, but there was no charges. So we've got two things. This is called the Fur Oil, and from what I've read, it's, actually, it's like meant to condition your hair. So I think even if you don't shave and don't go completely bare, you can wear, use this all over your body, but I've just been using it on my bikini line. But if you keep some hair there, whatever your style is, um, this is meant to condition the hair, but you can also use it if you go completely bare and shave everything off. And it just keeps the hair soft so they can break through the skin better. And then this little baby one is called the Ingrown Concentrate. And it, 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 I've left it in the thing. But it comes with a tiny little exfoliating bit as well. These are so, so, so good. I cannot tell you how long I have struggled with like not having a smooth bikini line. Or just getting the odd ingrown hair. And everyone knows they can be kind of painful and obviously unsightly. And it's like a constant upkeep of having to shave your bikini line. It's a ball ache. To whatever degree you shave it, whether you go all off... Brazilian style, whatever you want to do. These, this is literally some of the best products I've ever found. I was so excited when I got them. I think they were about $35 each, I want to say. Um, and they have some other things in their range, but for now I'm just sticking with these two. And I cannot recommend them enough. They are so, so good. I'm so, so pleased I found them. Um, so I've just been using this every day and this as and when I need to, if I've got an, um, any grown hair or anything like that. But it's literally changed. it just I was gonna say it's changed my life which is very over the top but really really excited about them and they made me want to do this whole video and um, so yeah that's body really 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 simple my favorite sun cream brand and I've run out of all sun cream from being in LA is definitely Vichy they do a really really big one in an orange bottle which is absolutely amazing I think that's my favorite also Pisbwin is another one I use a lot um, for my face though, for sun cream, there's three products. Now, as I said, sensitive skin, so sun cream can break you out. This is the Aven Hydrant Moisturiser. I use this every single day, more or less. It has SPF 20, so I kind of use this throughout the winter. It, I would want a higher SPF on days like today when it's really, really hot. But this is just amazing. Such a good moisturiser for under your skin. And then on my skin for makeup, I've been using the Vichy SPF 50. All of the French brands, like La Roche-Posay as well, do some incredible sun cream and really, really well priced. This is the BB cream and it's really light coverage. I have it on now. And for me in the summer, I always want to be able to see all my freckles and have be a really bare face as much as possible. And this is really, really sheer, so it's good. But if you have any redness, you can need to build some concealer over it. Like I get redness down my nose and this doesn't cover it enough. Um, and then another one that I really like is the Glossier one, which I know is super popular, but it is really, really sheer and it's SPF 30. So I use this on my face, but also tend to put it in my handbag and you know if you've got like a t-shirt on and you feel your chest is burning, just sort of pop some of that on my chest during the day. So those are my SPF things for summer. And then the, um, the last two things I want to talk about, I'm not going to talk about makeup or anything here because it doesn't change. I'll just link my most recent Get Ready With Me and it will be the exact same. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the other two skincare things is the La Roche-Posay cleanser, which again is fragrance free and really, really good for sensitive skin and it's just really, makes your skin feel really fresh and clean. So this is probably my fifth bottle of this. I just, again, order it from Boots or go to pharmacy. Um, and then something I use every, not every evening, probably every other evening is the Pi Rose Hip Biogener Oil. This is a brand new bottle. I just finished one the other day. Uh, this makes your skin so glowy and so good. And if you're flying a lot throughout this summer because you're travelling, my skin can get dull from being on a flight and just you when you get overtired and everything like that. And this really like brings some glow back into it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different. I don't really talk about skincare and stuff, but I hope it's helpful because I just feel like in summer, it's uncomfortable to wear a lot of makeup and we have to show more skin so you might feel more conscious about how the skin on your entire body is looking. So I thought I would share my favourite products for all of it. And, and as some with sensitive skin that I've struggled with those kind of things in the past and continue to struggle with them as well. Um, so yes, that is everything. Everything will be linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.